Checking out the Somerville news and the news story that was just posted on there. It was an interview with myself about the medical marijuana uh, one-sided story from Corey Mashburn that appeared in the Somerville news last week. Uh, it's called the Question 3 Advocates Response. I respond to the No on Question 3 campaign, um, lay out all my reasons and uh, dislike of their tactics and really what they've been saying about uh, medical cannabis users and the medical camp medical marijuana campaign I discount a lot of the statements that uh, Corey Mashburn made and his last article and I thought it was an excellent article uh, well done by Jim Clark from the Somerville News he took the time spent some time with me and wrote up an excellent article I'm really loving it love the quotes I uh, love the tone of the story I'm very happy about it uh, the first thing I noticed though when I scroll down the page and I'll, and I'll show you some of this in a second here but uh, someone named Shannon posted a comment and then it was immediately followed by some somebody else supporting her um, and it was hilarious because immediately this person <laughs> viciously attacked me um, the first thing that they had said my, my phone's starting to beep because people are reading this and commenting and I think they're loving it because it just came out so I'm gonna turn off my ringer here but uh, the thing you know, when you look at this, the first thing she says is, uh, I think the Somerville News should really think about what they print. As a Somerville resident, which I don't know if I believe at this, you know, she says she's a Somerville resident, but there's no registered account, there's no links back to who she is, but she claims she's a Somerville resident. Um, I am disgusted that the Somerville News thinks this guy is a qualified counterpoint to this. There are other counterpoints out there, but this guy is not one of them because he is, as you say, medical marijuana user himself. What? Oh, right, let's go on. There is so much, there is no such thing as medical marijuana. He just smokes weed. The Somerville News should also check the YouTube site that they put their articles. I don't know how you put their articles, but I think she meant that they post their articles. I don't even know what she meant there, but she's, she's calling out my YouTube site. Where this guy, Mike Cannon, is yelling at people and being really rude to people on the air. Yeah, really a qualified counterpoint. What? I, I actually posted a response. I want her to point out where I'm actually yelling at anyone on my show. I, I, I don't recall ever like yelling at anybody on my show. In the past, when we had a co-host, Steve, maybe Steve and I jabbed at each other, but it was usually he, he yelling at uh, some of our callers. He, he was kind of famous for that. I, I don't yell at my callers. I, I love my listeners, my callers, even the ones I don't agree with. It's always fair game to not agree with me. Heather Mack, my co-host, uh, often doesn't agree with me. She comes from the progressive left. I'm more of a libertarian Ron Paul guy. We don't agree on like half the issues, and I don't yell at Heather. I never yell at Heather. Um, as well as the producer of the show, Karma Leader. I mean, Karma Leader is as left wing as you can get. I, I, I'm not against uh, having a civil disagreement with somebody, but uh, when you start calling out lies and you lie about myself and lie about medical patients, then I'm going to get a little bit upset and I'm going to get a little stronger. Yes, yes, that's what I've done on my YouTube channel. But on my radio show, no, I've never yelled at anyone. If Dr. Kevin Sabet actually did have the balls to come on my show, I would not yell at him. I wouldn't be disrespectful to him either. I wouldn't agree with what he was saying, but I would actually have maybe have a little more respect for him for coming out on that forum. He doesn't choose to because I think, you know, he's afraid. I, I think he's a chicken. I think that, I'm just going to say it. I think he's scared to come on my show. And I think he was scared of me when I showed up that night on his turf. And it just shows the power that we have, that we, we can call out the BS. Um, this lady is claiming that I'm not a medical marijuana patient, I think, maybe. And then she's saying that I'm not qualified because I'm a medical man. So basically, anyone that's on medical marijuana can't speak about how it helps them. Is that is that what you're is that what you're trying to sell here? Because that is bizarro. That is like saying um, someone that eats peanut butter can't comment on peanut butter. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Number one, um, I've been doing this for over ten years. I've been involved in every form of uh, reform related to cannabis. I think there is nobody that is as qualified as myself to speak on this in Massachusetts. I am a Massachusetts resident, been working on this for years, talked to, ten, uh, talked to thousands of people related to the subject. I've spoken to elected officials, the governor of Massachusetts, I've talked to him several times. I've, I've talked to so many 
elected officials and stakeholders, patients, uh, activist groups, reform organizations. If I'm not qualified, who is? I mean, you know, and the other thing too is I, I actually want to show my spine. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but I'm going to try to attempt to show my spine because I, I want her to take a look. I'm in daily pain. And when you say that, I, that, that uh, medical marijuana doesn't exist, you know what? If it wasn't for medical cannabis, I'd be on codeine. I'd be still taking the pills that you want me on. I'm not taking the pills. I'm taking cannabis, and cannabis is the best medicine that I could ever use for my condition. So don't tell me that you know more about my health than my doctor or myself or my family. Like, who are you? Have you ever talked to my doctor? Have you ever looked at my back? Have you ever looked at... You don't even know who I am. Who are you? You know, this person that posts, I don't believe you're a Somerville resident. I think you're a liar. I think you're no one question three. That's who I think you are. You guys are full of it. And it's see-through. Because immediately after, they start posting this shit. You know what the real Somerville residents said? They got up and said, Bravo! Thank you, Somerville News, for presenting someone like Mike Can who knows what he's talking about. Thank you. That's, that's what actually the citizens of Mass want to see. They want to see some balance. You know, it's okay when Corey goes up there and writes all his crazy stuff, but when someone with some sense, some, with some truth, comes out and says the truth, then, oh no, oh no, you guys were all happy about Somerville News last week, but this week, oh no, you're really upset. You know what? I give it to the Somerville News for presenting both sides. I'm not upset that they had Corey Mashburn on there. I don't think he's any type of expert, but you know what? Let him speak for the other side. That's, that's what the debate's about, and I'm glad that they presented both sides. I think that's that's what I want to see. I want to see both sides always presented. And I think the Somerville News did a great job. They found two local people. I live in Cambridge. Corey lives in Somerville. We're not out-of-state people like Dr. Kevin Sabet coming in trying to get a drug war job. No, we're local people. So I give it up to Corey for speaking his mind and speaking what he believes in, even though I don't agree and I think a lot of it is false information. And specifically, I give it up to the Somerville News because they did a great job on this article and a great follow-up. And they are listening to uh, your comments and your commentary, and that's why they reached out to me because you, the, the, the real locals commented and they wanted to see the other side speaking up. And uh, I, I was glad to do that. I'm very happy to speak up for the for our side. I'm going to stop it here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give you a quick flash of it on my computer, and you can also see that comment. And uh, if, if, if things go right, I'll show you my back, too.